Next millennium, you'll have to search quite hard to find my slab beneath the family dead. Butcher, publican and baker, now me, bard, adding poetry to their beef, beer and bread. With Byron three graves on, I'll not go short of company, and Wordsworth's opposite. That's two peers already, of a sort, and we'll all be thrown together in the pit. Whose galleries once ran beneath this plot, causes the distinguished dead to drop into the rabblement of bone and rot, shored slack, crushed shale, smashed prop. Wordsworth built church organs, Byron tanned, luggage cowhide in the age of steam and knew their place of rest before the land caves in on the lowest worked out seam. This graveyard on the brink of beastern hills, the place I may well rest if there's a spot under those rose roots and the daffodils by which dad dignified the family plot. If buried ashes saw then I'd survey the places I learned Latin and learned Greek and left the ground where Leeds United play but disappoint their fans week after week <clears throat> which makes them lose their sense of self-esteem and taking a shortcut home through these graves here they reassert the glory of their team by spring words on tombstones pissed on beer this graveyard stands above a worked out pit. Subsidence makes the obelisks all list. One leaning left smock, fuck. One right smocked shit. Sprayed by some peeved supporter who was pissed. Far sighted for his family's future dead. But for his wife, this banker's still alone. On his long obelisk and doomed ahead, the blackened dynasty of unclaimed stone. Now graffitied with a crude four-letter word, his children and grandchildren went away and never came back home to be interred, so left a lot of space for skins to spray. The language of this graveyard ranges from a bit of Latin for a former mayor, or those who laid their lives down at the Somme, the hymnal fragments and the gilded prayer. How people fell asleep in the good Lord, brief, chiselable bits from the good book, and rhymes whatever length they could afford, to cunt, piss, shit, and mostly fuck. Or more expansively, there's Leeds v. the opponent of last week, this week, or next, in a repertoire of blunt four-letter curses on the team or race that makes the spray vexed. Then, pushed for time, or fleeing some observer, dodging between tall family vaults and trees, like his team's best ever winger, dribbler, swerver, fills every space he finds with versus V's. V's sprayed on the run at such a lick, the sprayer master of his flourished tool. Get short-armed on the left, like that red tick, they never mock his work with much at school. Half this skinhead's age, but with approval, I helped whitewash a V on a brick wall. No one clamoured in the press for its removal, or thought the sign, in wartime, rude at all. These Vs are all the verses of life, from Leeds v Derby, Black v White, and, as I'm known to my cost, Man v. Wife, Communist v. Fascist, Left v. Right, Class v. Class, as bitter as before, the unending violence of us and them, personified in 1984 by Cole Board McGregor and the NUM. Hindu, Sikh, soul, body, heart v. mind, East, West, male, female, and the grounds these fixtures of Fortons man resigned to hope from his future what his past never found. The prospects for the present aren't too grand when a swastika with NF sprayed on a grave 
to which another hand has added, in reddish colour, cunts. Which is, I grant, the word that springs to mind, when going to clear the weeds and rubbish thrown on the family plot by football fans, I find united graffitied on my parents' stone. How many British graveyards now this May are strewn with rubbish and choked up with weeds, since families and friends have gone away for work or full of lives like me from Leeds. When I first came here forty years ago with my dad to see my grandma, I was seven. I helped dad with the flowers. He let me know she'd gone to join my granddad up in heaven. <coughs> my dad who came each week to bring fresh flowers came home with clear stains on his trouser knees. Since my parents' death I've spent two hours made up of odd ten minutes such as these. Flying visits once or twice a year. And though I'm horrified just who's to blame that I find instead of flowers cans of beer and more than one grave sprayed with some skin's name. <clears throat> Where there were flower urns and troughs of water and mesh receptacles for withered flowers are the harp tins of some skinhead lead supporter. It isn't all his fault though, much as ours. Five kids with one in goal play two aside. When the ball bangs on the hawthorn, that's one post, and petals fall. They hum, here comes the bride. Though not so loud they'd want to rouse a ghost. They boot the ball on purpose at the trunk and make the tree shed showers of shriveled may. I look at this word graffiti by some drunk and I'm in half a mind to let it stay. Though honesty demands that I say if I wanted to take the necessary pains to scrub the skin's inscription off, I only had an hour between trains. So the feelings that I had as I stood gazing, and the significance I saw could be a sham, mere excuses for not patiently erasing the words sprayed on the grave of Dad and Mam. This pen's all I have of magic wand. I know this world so torn, but want no other, except for Dad, who'd hope from the beyond a better life than this one with my mother. Though I don't believe in afterlife at all, and know it's cheating, it's hard not to make a sort of furtive prayer from this skin scroll. His united mean in heaven for their sake. An accident of meaning to redeem, an act intended as mere desecration, and make the thoughtless spring of his team apply to higher things and to the nation. Some, where kids use aerosols, use giant signs to let the people know who's forged their fetters, like Prince of Wales above West Yorkshire mines, no prizes for who nicked the missing letters. The big blue star for booze, tobacco ads, the magnet's monogram, the royal crest, insignia, and neon dwarf the lads who sprayed a few odd fucks when they're depressed. Letters of transparent tubes and gas in Dusseldorf are blue and flash out Krupp. Arms are hoisted for the British ruling class and clandestine genteel agro keeps them up. <clears throat> <clears throat> and there's Harrison on some lead building sites I've taken in fun as blazoning my name which I've also seen on books in Broadway lights. So why can't skins with spray cans do the same? But why inscribe these graves with cunt and shit? Why choose neglected tombstones to disfigure? This pitman of last century daubed packy git. This grosser broadbent aerosol with nigger. They're there to shock the living, not arouse the dead from their deep space to lend support for the causes skinhead spray cans could espouse. The dead would want their desecrators caught. Jobless though they are, how can these kids, even though their teams lost one more game, believe that the packies, niggers, even yids, sprayed on the tombstones here, should bear the blame? What is it that these cruel words are revealing? What is it that this aggro act implies, giving the dead their xenophobic feeling, or just a creed occur 
because man dies. So what's a creed of coke, cunt? Can't you speak the language that your mum spoke? Think of her. Can you only get your tongue round fucking Greek? Go and fuck yourself with creed of coke. She didn't talk like you do for a start, I shouted, turning where I thought the voice had been. She didn't understand your fucking art. She thought your fucking poetry obscene. I wish on this skin's word deep aspirations. First the prayer for my parents I can't make, then a call to Britain and to all nations, made in the name of love for peace's sake. Aspirations, cunt. Folk on fucking dole have got about as much scope to aspire above the shit they're dumped in, cunt, as coal aspires to be chucked on fucking fire. Okay, forget the aspirations. Look, I know United losing gets you fans incensed, and how far the harp inside you makes you go, but all these V's against, against, against. I'll tell you then what really riles a bloke. It's reading on their graves the jobs they did. Butcher, publican and baker. Me? I'll croak, doing the same. Nout, I do now as a kid. Hard birth I were, me mum says. Almost killed her. Death after life on dole won't seem as hard. Look at this cunt Wordsworth, organ builder. This fucking Aberdasher, apple yard. If me mum's up there, don't want to meet her. Listening to list me dirty deeds and have to pipe up to St. Fucking Peter. I've been on the dole all my life in fucking Leeds. Then hallelujah stick in angels' gobs when dole wallers fuck off to the void. What mason carves up for their jobs? The cunts who lieth here were unemployed. This lot worked at one job all life though. Byron, Tanner, lieth here interred. They'll chisel fucking port when they do you, and that ye cunt's a crude four-letter word. Listen, cunt, I said, before you start your jeering, the reason why I want this in a book is to give un ungrateful cunts like you a hearing. A book, you stupid cunt's not worth a fuck. The only reason why I write this poem at all, on yobs like you who do the dirt on earth, is to give some higher meaning to your scrawl. Don't fucking bother, cunt. Don't waste your breath. You piss artist skinhead, cunt. You wouldn't know. And it doesn't fucking matter if you do. The skin and Port United fucking rimbo. But the otter at the jadest is fucking you. I've told you, no more Greek. That's your last warning. I'll boot your fucking balls to kingdom come. They'll find you cold on grave tomorrow morning. So don't speak Greek. Don't treat me like I'm dumb. <clears throat> I've done my bits of mindless aggro too. Not half a mile from where we're standing now. Yeah, I bet you wrote a poem, you wanker you. No, shut your gob a while. I'll tell you how. Herman Derevsky's band played operetta with a wobbly soprano wobbling. Just why I made my mind up that I got to get her with a fire hose I can't say, but I'll try. It wasn't just the singing angered me, at the same time half a crowd was jeering at the smooth Hugh Gateskill, our MP, made promises the other half were cheering. What I hated in those high soprano ranges was uplift beyond all reason and control, and in a world where you say nothing changes, it seemed a sort of prick tease of the soul. I'll tell you when I heard high notes that rose above Hugh Gatskill's cool electioneering, Straight from the warbling throat, right up me nose, I had all your aggro in my jeering. And I hit the fire extinguisher on knob and covered orchestra and audience with spray. I could run as fast as you then. A good job. They'd yell damned vandal after me that day. And then you saw the light and up heavy. A newer man's not now much how we can sup. Your reward for growing up's this super bevy. A meths and champagne punch in F.A. Cup. I've heard all that from old farts past their prime. How now you live, we all you once detested. Old farts with not much left will give me time. Fuckers like that get folk like me arrested. Covet not thy neighbour's wife. 
thy neighbour's riches, vigour and cop who say to save our souls, get thee behind me, Satan, drop their breeches, and get the devil's dick right up their rolls. It was more a working marriage that I'd meant, a blend of masculine and feminine. Ignoring me, he started looking bent on some more aerosoling for his tin. It was more a working marriage that I mean. Fuck and save me soul, eh? That suits me. Then, as if I'd egged him on to be obscene, he added a middle slit to one doped V. Don't talk to me, you fucking representing the class you were born into anymore. You're going to get hurt and start resenting. It's not poetry we need in this class war. You've given yourself toffee, cunt. Who needs your fucking poofy words? I write me own. I've got me work on show all over Leeds, like this United here on some sod stone. Okay, thinking I had him trapped. Okay, if you're so proud of it, then sign your name. When next you're full of harp and on with spray, next time you take this shortcut from the game. He took the can, contemptuous, unhurried, and cleared the nozzle and prepared to sign. The United sprayed where Mum and Dad were buried. He aerosolled his name, and it was mine. The boy footballers brawl, here comes the bride, and drifting blossoms fall into my head. One half of me's alive, but one half died, when the skin half sprayed my name among the dead. Half versus half, the enemies within, the heart that can't be whole till they unite. As I stoop to grab the crushed harp lager tin, the day is already dusk, half dark, half light. That united that I'd wished unto the nation, or as reunion for dead parents soon recedes. The word is once more a mindless desecration by some harpaholic yob supporting leads. Almost the time for ghosts, I'd better scram. They're not given much to fears of spooky scaring. I don't fancy an encounter with me, ma'am playing Hamlet with me for this swearing. Though I've got a train to catch, my step is slow. I walk on the grass and graves with weary tread, over these subsidences, these shifts below, the life of Leeds supported by the dead. Further underneath that cavernous hollow that makes the gravestones lean towards the town, a matter of mere time, and it will swallow this place of rest, and all the rest is down. I tell myself that I've got, say, thirty years, at seventy-five, this place will suit me fine. I've never feared the grave, but what I fear is that great, worked-out black hollow under mine. Not train departure time, and not town hall, with the great white clock face I can see. Coal that began with no man here at all, as three hundred million year old plant debris. Five kids still play, making blossoms fall, and humming as they do, here comes the bride. They never seem to tire of their ball, though I hear a woman's voice call one inside. Two locking boys play bawdy bride and groom, three boys in lead strip lull alone grin. I hear them as I go through the growing gloom, still years away from being scald or skin. The ground's carpeted with petals as I throw the aerosol, the harp can, the cleared weeds, on top of Dad's dead daffodils, then go with not one glance behind, away from Leeds. The bus to the station is still the number one, but goes by routes that I don't recognise. I look out for known landmarks as the sun reddens, the swabs of cloud in darkening skies. Home, home, home. To my woman, as the red darkens from a fresh blood to a dried. Home, home to my woman, home to bed where opposites seem, sometimes unified. A pensioner in turban taps his stick along the pavement past the corner shop that sells samosas now, not beer on tick, to the, ca to the Kashmir Muslim club that was the co-op. House after house for sale where we played cricket, with white roses cut from flower sacks on our caps, with stumps chalked on the coal grate for our wicket, and every one now bought by coloured chaps. Dad's most liberal label as he felt squeezed by the unfamiliar and fear of foreign food and faces when he smelled curry in the shop where he'd bought beer and growing frailer, wobbly on his pins 
the shops he felt familiar with withdrew, which meant no longer tiring treks for tins that had a label on them that he knew, and as the shops that stocked his favourites receded, whereas he'd fancied beans and pop next door, he found that four long treks a week were needed, till he wondered what he bothered eating for. The supermarket made him feel embarrassed, where people bought whole lambs for family freezes, he bought baked beans from checkout girls, too harassed to smile or swap a joke with sad old geezers. But when he bought his cigs he'd have a chat, his week's one conversation, true to tell. But time also came and put a stop to that, when old Watsy got bought out by Mr Patel. And there, time like an ever rolling streams, what I once trilled behind that border front. A thousand ages made cold bearing scenes, and even more the hand that sprayed this cunt on both Methodist and C V billboards. Once divided in their fight for local souls, whichever house more truly was the Lord's, both pews are filled with cut price toilet rolls. Home, home to my woman, never to return, till Sexton or Survivor has to cram the bits of clinker scooped out of my urn down through the rose roots to my dad and mam. Home, home to my woman, where the fire's lit, these still chilly mid-May evenings, home to you, and perished vegetation from the pit, escaping insubstantial up the flue. Listening to Lulu, in our hearth we burn, as we hear the high seas rise in stereo, what was lush, swamp, club moss and tree fern, at least 300 million years ago. Shill bottle cobbles, Allenberg High D, lifted from a source that bears your name, the ones we hear decay, the one we see, the fern from the fettered forest has brief flame. This world, with far too many people in, starts on the TV logo as a tour, then ping pong, tennis, football, then one spin to show us all, and then shots of the Gulf War. As the coal with reddish dust cools in the grate, on the late night national news we see, Police fee pickets at a coke plant grate, old violence and old disunity. The map that's colour coded Ulster era flashed on again as almost every night. Behind a tiny coffin with two bearers, men in masks with arms show off their might. The day's last images recede to first a glow and then a ball that shrinks back to a blank screen, turning to love and sleeps oblivion. I know what the united but the skin spread has to mean. Hanging my clothes up from my parka hood, may and apple petals, browned and creased, fall onto the carpet and bring back the flood of feelings the first falling has released. I hear like ghosts from all Leeds matches humming, with one concerted voice, the bride, the bride. I feel united too, and my bride is coming into the bedroom naked to my side. The ones we choose to love become our anchor, when the horser of the blood ties hacked of phrase. But a voice that scorns corals is yelling, Wanker, it's the aerosoling skin I met today. My alter ego wouldn't want to know it, his aerosol vocab with bog at love. The skin's united, underwrites the poet, the measures carved below the ones above. I doubt if thirty years of bleak leads weather and thirty falls of apple and of may will erode the united binding us together and now it's your decision does it stay next millennium you'll have to search quite hard to find out where i'm buried but i'm near the grave of haberdasher apple yard the pile of harps or some new neoned beer find byron wordsworth or turn left between one grave mark broadbent one mark richardson bring some solution with you that can clean whatever new crude words have been sprayed on if love of art, or love, gives you a front, then the grave I'm in's graffitied then. Maybe erase the most offensive fuck and cunt, but leave, with the worn united, one small V. Victory? Of vast, slow, coal creating forces that hew the body seems to get the soul. Will earth run out of her diurnal courses before repeating her creation of black coal? If, having come this far, Somebody reads these verses, and he, she, wants to understand. Face this grave on beast and hill, you're back to Leeds, 
and read the chiselled epitaph I've planned. Beneath your feet's a poet, then a pit. Poetry supporter, if you're here to find how poems can grow from beat you to it, shit. Find the beef, the beer, the bread, then look behind.